everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and I am joined once again by Coda. Howdy. Howdy, indeed. <laughs> and uh, today is a very special day for Coda. I know she's very excited. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. This is this, this is my niche. This is a dream come true for you. How do you feel? Honestly. I'm really excited. <laughs> You're bouncing up and down. I can I, see it. Uh, I am just exploding. With excitement? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, as the wheel has blessed us, it, it actually is a blessing this time, I swear. Um, we have Blake and Yang, and we have found a really good complete book that will take multiple sessions to complete. <laughs> Yes, it's quite large. Yes, but you know what they say, the bigger the better. Yeah, they do say that, <laughs> and I hope that that is true for this. Yep. So, the description does look pretty good. It is called An Unlikely Player, Blake X. Yang, and I do love the little cover art. It looks really cute. Yeah. Alright, description reads, Yang is a boxer, but lives a quite... A very modest life. She has a small apartment, nothing too fancy, just something cozy. One day she notices her neighbor, sh neighbor struggling with a couple of boxes. As it turns out, she works at the daycare. She worked with she worked with her best friend's son, and the boxes were fragile art supplies. What will happen? Who knows? Have fun reading. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I, I, this sounds really cute. This does look cute. Okay. So we did skim just the first chapter to see what we're getting ourselves into. Um, we'll probably only do two chapters because these kind of look long. But it'll be worth it. Yeah, very worth Hopefully. it. Hopefully. I can't actually make any claims because I didn't skim, so I didn't uh, quality check uh, the writing itself. Mm-hmm. But um, it looked alright. It looked pleasant to my okay, eyeballs. Okay. Alright, that's good. Okay. Oh my god, these suggestions on the side. <laughs> I love them already. Mm. They're all Blake and Yang. <laughs> Yay! Let's... Oh, I see it now. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, they didn't even give me a second to even read this book. And they're already like, here, have some more! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, male reader X Ruby. No thank you. She's like 12. Oh, are you looking at the new king one? Um, no, that oh. it showed me something called Catch Me If You Can. Oh, uh, okay, that's not the suggestions I'm getting, but... <laughs> okay, I, there's one called A King's Revenge, but the title is cut off. Um, oh, gotcha. oh, Lion Faunus Reader Insert. I think it's Blake, though. Okay. Alright. Alright. This chapter's called, What Will Happen? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Exactly. <laughs> and I skimmed well, this. You're just gonna have to find out. <laughs> Alright, uh, who would like the honors of reading first? Uh, should we flip again? Yeah, I- well, I, I didn't know if you wanted to. I knew you were excited about the ship, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I can go first. Okay, but we, we can still put the like... remote. Okay, okay. I, I think it's fun. Alright, uh, buttons or batteries? <laughs> Buttons. I did batteries last time. Okay. It's buttons! Hey, God loves me today. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wake up at the normal time. Oh, God, it's first person. Yeah, okay. it's Yang's point of All view. Right. Alright. I wake up at the normal time around 5 a.m. I get up, my head killing me, and with a slight dizziness, but head to the bathroom anyway. If I can't deal with the pain, I'm not getting far. I do the normal routine, brush my teeth, brush my hair, shower, brush my hair again, dry it, put on real clothes and not just PJs. Put on a yellow t-shirt and normal blue jeans, black running shoes, grab my gym bag, and head out the door. As I walk out, I see a familiar face. She was my neighbor. I think her name was Blake? We make eye contact, and I do what I usually do when I see her. Say something nice today was, oh, I like your bow, looks nice. Thank you, you look a bit nicer today than normal. Anything special going on? Nope, I say, popping the feet. Hair's just a bit more brushed. That was the extent of our conversations. Compliment, compliment back, question, answer, leave, just like today. 
try to walk out the door when I hear the landlord say, you need to pay rent. Was she talking to me? No, I paid yesterday. I paid with Blake. We had the longest conversation I can remember. Just our plans for the weekend soon. I'm sorry? I paid yesterday. I have a witness. Yang was there. Wait, she's giving Blake shit? I turn and walk back to the counter. I heard my name. What's up? Oh, sorry. You can go do what you need. Sorry, she said with a small smile on her face, and her eyes just asking me to leave. I shrug and walk out the door. She must not like me very much. Damn. Wait, the landlord's giving her shit? Wait, hold on. I start to walk as I see the landlord, the landlord explode, just yelling at Blake. What does she do? I turn back and walk in only to hear, You didn't pay at all. You sh you're short $200. I paid the full 600 I had the extra 200 in here. Oh, in there. She didn't raise her voice. She just stood there. Great, thanks for the sense of justice, Dad. Okay, I can't walk away. What is going on here? Blake jumped a bit. The yelling made it sound like I wasn't there in the first place. I'm just short on rent is all. Don't worry. I saw you, your check. You had 200 extra. I didn't know what was going on, but no one was going homeless on my watch. Well, she's still short 200. Remember last month, Blake? She tilted her head and nodded her head. So she's just short 200? I asked. What was assault? I asked. What was I about to do? Yes. Okay. I mean, I have the money. I can just pay. But why? I barely know her. Short conversations, nothing more. Next thing I know, I handed her a check. Cool. That would take care of it. The landlord looked at me confused, and so was Blake. Why? You don't have to pay. I can manage. I'm being nice. Let me do this. You're doing more than being nice. That's $200. Yeah, but I wasn't going to use it on anything. I just got $3,000 last week. Plus, I could use the karma. If you're making that kind of money, why do you even live here? What do you even do? Nothing much. I'm just a boxer. I leave them with the check and leave. Okay, that was pretty nice. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, writing style is a little rough, but that's okay. Yeah, I had to keep reminding myself who was talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at a little time skip, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had my earbuds in, as I'm doing my usual workout. Right now, I was at a punching bag. I had broken a few in the past, so I have to be careful. I was about to throw another punch when I feel a tap on my shoulder. I overdo, I overdo it a bit, and oops, after a punching bag hits the wall as the chain broke. I take one earbud out and turn to see an old friend. Laura, how are you, ma'am? I've been fine. I saw your la latest fight on TV. A little too much power for the kid, Yang. She's lucky I held back at all. She insulted Ruby. I shoved her words right back down her throat. What was her name again? I don't know. Emerald? She wasn't too much of a boxer anyway. We talked a bit. I showered there and went back to my place. Don't want to meet up sometime this week? No, can't. Ren and I still have a lot of unpacking to do, she said. Same big smile plastered across her face. Okay, see you later. Bye, Yang. With that, we left our homes. Left for our homes. It was 9 a.m. Not long as I would have liked to work out, but oh well. I, I started around 7. I had to visit Ruby today anyway. I walked past a small daycare. A tall blonde man was looking at the tiny children, looking at what they are drawing, talking to a few, just doing his job. It reminded me of Ruby and Wise's kid. kid. Cute kid, too. Don't ask for a picture of logic, okay? <laughs> I hate that. I walk back into my apartment, looking for whatever I need. Change of clothes, snacks for me, just in case I need them. The basics of dealing with a small child. I put them in, into a smaller bag and head out again. This time I take my motorcycle. It got a bit hotter and they live kind of far. I Another do... late time skip bitches. I, d I do love that Ruby and Weiss have a kid. <laughs> I d yeah. I love that it's canon <laughs> in this fanfiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, I arrived at Ruby's house. It was huge, by the way, and knocked on the door. Weiss answered, holding White, their kid. Also, they have the last name Rose. Not by the author, okay. Oh, hey, Yang. Didn't expect to s 
Oh shit. <laughs> I like lost the photo. Oh hey Yang. <laughs> Didn't expect you to actually be here in 30 minutes. You doubt me too much. I doubt everyone except for Ruby and Winter. Well, may I come in? Oh yeah, sorry. I walk in. Toys everywhere in the playroom. The living room is clean with a nice carpet and a rug that had a weird pattern of black, uh, red, black, and white. The kitchen was also very clean. You didn't find a single speck of dust in there. How much does Weiss clean? God's damn. I sat down on the couch. Wait. <laughs> I sat down on the couch, which is white. Stupid choice with a tiny kid, but it's not my place to say. I hear footsteps running down the stairs as if a kid is running down excited for Christmas. And then I'm body slammed by a bunch of rose petals, only stumbling back a little bit. Yay, oh my god, you're back and I, I missed you so much. It I was, love this bitch. <laughs> it was all kind of mixed together, but Ruby was squeezing the, li the living daylights out of me. She looked small and weak, but she was strong enough to squeeze me to death. Hey sis, I just saw you two weeks ago. So, I'm not I'm not allowed to miss you? You are, but you body slammed me. You did this two weeks ago. I don't care. I missed you so flippin' much. Still too innocent to cuss, but not too innocent to have a kid. I don't understand you. You don't have to. Okay, let me go now. She lets go, and we see Y standing there, holding white. Ruby, I 100% expected that. Aw, you love me all the same. I hate when you're right. I have to admit, they're cute together. I wish I had someone in my life. Last time I tried to date, the guy was a creep, and now I'm 100% gay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it, all it takes is one dude to make a girl gay. <laughs> uh, it's true. <laughs> Yang, what's the bag for? What was it for last time? Oh, so close and snack? Yep. Time passes. I do that thing where you throw the kid in the air and catch them with White and talk with Ruby and Weiss. After a few hours, White eats, then gets up to put then gets put down for a nap. Weiss comes back down, sat next to Ruby, and I had to deal with hell. Soon so Yang, how's your love life? Same as last, I'm still single. If you need, I can find a girlfriend on my own. Weiss was good at finding matches for people, but I always refused her help. I wanted a relationship I could find, not some have not someone have found for me. Okay, for example, what do you want them to be like? Well, for starters, I don't want them to go through my underwear drawer. Okay, I guess. What kind of context is this? It's <laughs> that's kind of random. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Is that the what the creepy dude did? Maybe. Yeah, not everyone does that. Yeah, I know, but it's still on the top of my list. Fine, fine. What else do you want? Then to be nice? To not need me? Or, but, want to be with me? I don't want it to feel forced for either one of us. I also want to talk, I don't want them to talk to me whenever, and feel comfortable talking. Why is Fern a smirk in her face? The smirk she gets when she's thinking of a great idea. I swear, Weiss, if I find out, you fucking set me up with someone. Fine, fine, I won't. A couple of more hours, and it was about 3 p.m. Well, this was fun, but I have to go. What? But you just got here, Ruby said with a sad expression on her face. I'll be back in two or three weeks. I grab my keys. See ya. I wave goodbye and headed out my way. I get on my bike and leave. Another 30 minute ride back, not so bad, but not enjoyable when you're tired. I arrive at my apartment, park my bike and get off. 15.30, not so bad. I step, I step inside, wave at my landlord, just headed up to the stairs to get to my apartment. I lock the door, walking in to drop my stuff off and flop on my bed. I roll over on my back and have one arm on my forehead and the other one resting on my stomach. I closed my eyes a bit, and then a bit more, and then more. I was about to fall asleep when I heard a groan. I leaned my elbow and I leaned on my elbows and looked out on my still open door. I see Blake carrying two boxes. One looks full of paper, and the other one I couldn't see. I get up and walk over to her. Looks like you're having trouble. Need help? I ask. She seems to 
not need to help. She she seems too nice not to help. Anyone else, I would let figure it out on their own. She froze for a second, then looked at me with a sweet smile and said, No, I'm fine. You helped me enough today. She looked kind of cute. Nope, 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 nope. You can't catch me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we can. I see she already got the keys of the door. I just couldn't unlock and no open the door, and the boxes seemed heavy. Naturally, I unlocked the door and opened it for her. Thank you, but you really don't have- I know, I'm going to anyway. Sorry for cutting you off. It's, I see what I think was a small bit of pink on her cheeks, but it went away quickly. It must have been my imagination. She walked in and sat the stuff down, and I turned to leave, but was stopped by Blake saying, Wait, please. I stopped and turned around to look at her. Why don't you come in for tea? It's the least I can do to thank you. I was shocked, and my eyes widened a bit. We didn't really know each other all too well. I, I mean, if you don't want to, it's fine. I, no, no, it's fine. I'd love to. Sorry for cutting you off again. <laughs> She steps aside and gestures for me to come in. Her place was nice, not too big, and had a small kitchen that led to a living room, a bedroom off to the side, and a bathroom to the other side. Oh, sorry if you don't like it. No, that's not it. I like it. Just looking around. I really wouldn't have a place to judge if I didn't like it anyway. I say and smile. She walked ahead of me and into the kitchen, got out a kettle, two mugs, and started making tea. She left it on the burner until it was boiling. I was still standing, just kind of watching. I probably looked creepy. She walked around the corner and led me to the couch. Now we wait until it's boiling. Anyway, I wanted to thank you about helping me today. You didn't have to. Like I said, I'm going to anyway. Okay, helping with the door, I understand, but literally paying $200 out of your pocket? I really don't. It's, it's simple. I wasn't going to let someone become homeless. Okay, well, I'll pay you back. I'm sorry you felt the need to pay for me. Did you have the money? Well, no, I, I didn't get paid too much since I work at a daycare. Wait, did she work at the daycare I passed today? You know, you apologize too much. Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't want people to not like me is all. Oh, what the fuck? You don't have to call me out like that. <laughs> I don't like being caught out in fanfiction. <laughs> Damn. She looked at the ground and rubbed her arms. Also, you always have a bow on. The same place all the time. Why is that? She froze. She looked like she she looked like she was thinking. I was hoping you wouldn't ask, but if you want to know the truth, she paused. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, no, you should know the truth. I'm fine with whether you think of me afterward. What? It's just a bow. <laughs> she carefully undid the bow and showed her cat ears on top of her head. She looked at the ground, refusing to look at me, and so I did the only thing I could think of. I put a hand on her shoulder, she looked up and tears in her eyes, and they re refused to fall. I really don't get why this is supposed to change how I feel about you. You have cat ears, oh well. She looked shocked, like no one has ever said that to her before. A few tears falling. Shit, what did I do? God. That's- that's it? You don't care? You- you do see this, right? Yeah, I have eyes, and why does it matter if you're a faunus or not? There was a silence, until a high-pitched whistle filled the room. Blake got up- got up- took it off the burner and set it aside to let it cool. She sat back down. You really don't care about what I am? No, you seem nice. That's the main reason I'm nice to you. She was confused. I can understand why. Faunus aren't the most popular. Well- it's get off the topic. What's it like to work at a daycare? I ask. She gives me a small smile and begins. Well, for starters, it's not all that bad. The kids are well behaved for the most part. Not only that, I get to work with my best friend. His name is Sun, and also a faunus. Hmm, she's probably straight. Yeah, he's gay and has a boyfriend named Neptune, but it's work <laughs> it's fun working with him. Tall, blonde? I ask. She nods. I think I passed by him one time on my way back from the gym. Oh, you should drop by, say hi sometime. She smiles with that cute small smile. Fuck, I'm so gay. <laughs> and she looks at me and asks, You said you were a boxer this morning. Like, professional? Oh, yeah, I got the nickname The Dragon, so you could look that up and find a few fights there, but they're also on TV. Uh, we walk for a bit longer, drink tea, talk more, and just have a nice time. Before I knew it, it was already 10 p.m. This was fun. 
Just talking. We should do it again sometime. My place, I say, giving a smile. It really was fun, and Blake was actually a really interesting person. Yeah, sounds fun. Thanks again for all the help today, she says as we walk to the door. She opens the door, I take a few steps out, then say, Yeah, it's really no big deal. She shakes her head. It was a big deal to me, but good night. Yeah, good night. We wave, then she closes the door. I walk back into my apartment, close the door, and flop on my bed again. I turn over to lay on my back, looking at the ceiling. I wonder what will happen. I kind of- I really like this so far. Yeah. This is the slow burn that I need in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kind of slow and boring, but oh well, you still read it. Hope you enjoy. Things will pick up in our next chapter. All right. Let's go. Oh, look at it. Yeah, look that is really cute. I, I do like his little face right <laughs> I love Sun. He's one of my favorite characters. And I, I, I do like that they put him with Neptune. That's a very popular uh, ship. All right. I also like Sun with uh, his other teammate Scarlet, but mm -hmm. Scarlet only has like two speaking lines, so I understand why they're not shipped more often. <laughs> we got on on the wheel. We got to add Sun and Neptune together. There's oh my probably... god! Please. <laughs> well, don't worry. <laughs> god. All right, Yang's point of view for what's the, uh, the daycare break. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing. Yang is going to visit Blake and Sun while they're working, and they're gonna have like a little break. Oh, they're gonna oh, she's gonna visit her on a lunch break. This is gonna be nice. Oh man. All right, Yang's point of view. Normal day. Woke up. Do what I need to do. Grab my gym bag. Head out the door. Say hi to Blake. Leave. Do my normal workout. Shower. Put on normal clothes and leave. I walk past the daycare again, but I decide to say hi to Blake. I have nothing else to do today, so why not? I see the same guy inside. Does Blake have to have a break around this time? Oh well. I walk in. The boy looks at me and says hello. And says, hello. Welcome to Holy. <laughs> I would seem confused as he has a surprised look on his face. C can I help you? Oh, right. Um, I'm son. Uh, super, super fan. A uh, huge fan. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is always fun. Sometimes. Oh, your son? Blake told me about you. You know Blake? Yeah, I came to say hi and see if, if we could hang out during her break. He looked surprised, then turned to the kids and said, Okay, we're going to go talk. I'll be back in a bit now. Scarlet and Neptune are in charge. Scarlet. Let's go. Scar I don't remember what she looks like. <laughs> Uh, uh, Scarlet, uh, he's a dude, but I'll get a pic of him. Scarlet, David, Ruby, show him to me now. Give him to me. <laughs> um, okay, I will just DM you a picture okay. of him. Already. I love him, I miss him. He has two <laughs> speaking lines. Yeah, I did, <laughs> I did not remember this dude. Yeah, uh, he's on Sun's team, and in the show, they are only shown in one fight. Uh, well, no, two fights, but they don't get a lot of screen time, Sun's team, so... Gotcha. So it's Sun, Neptune, Scarlet, who's the other person? Because there's four on a team, right? Yeah, um, it's... his name is Sage. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, I'll find <laughs> I don't remember mm -hmm. any. I remember his son getting so much screen time because he always gets paired with Blake on her on her little adventures. Yeah. Um. There's not a good picture of him from the show, but here's a picture of him from the mobile game that I was really obsessed with, and then they shut <laughs> Wait, it down. Wait, there's a mobile game. Oh shit! Yeah. He has green hair. <laughs> he does have green hair. <laughs> Damn it! I don't think he speaks at all in the show. For those who don't know, I tend to lean towards uh, characters with green hair a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's me, alright. <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Why you do that? At least let me finish this paragraph. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. in charge. He let me in the back. Am I even allowed back here? Sun opens the door, leading me in first. I see Blake reading. Sun grabs the top of her book and forces it down. Why didn't you tell me you know the dragon? 
My name is actually Yang. <laughs> didn't didn't recognize you were a fan of Yang's. Blake said bl plainly. Anyway, just dropped by to say hey and wanted to see if you wanted to hang out. If nothing else to do today. Oh, I have nothing else to do today. She closed her book and set it down. Yeah, why not? Cool. I really don't want to be alone today. It gets really boring. Sun takes a step towards us. Blake, do you realize who this is? This is the dragon. The famous boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Yang... Act... Yang Long. Chow. Chow, Chow Long. She crushes so many people in tournaments. She said, he said, taking a step towards Blake. And she's asking to hang out with you. Do you realize what is happening? Do you know how many people would kill for this opportunity? <laughs> is he trying I to get invited? I so much. Probably. I love him so much. <laughs> I do like every time he speaks, I always like, do you know that this is the dragon? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What, what other picture did you want to show me? <laughs> I know you were excited about something, and I forgot. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, not a, it's, a, it's a scene, but it's, like, almost six minutes, so oh. I'll just send you the link, and then you can watch it whenever. But it's okay. the only, like, it, that stuns team, and that's one of the only times that they get to shine. Oh, uh, yeah. Other during... than that, yeah, during the, the Vital Festival. Um, yeah. And then... And then, like, in, like, the last one or two episodes of season three, when, like, shit hits the fan, they are seen fighting, but just in, like, the background. Gotcha, okay. So, uh, sorry that I'm, like, the Ruby Scholar. Uh, <laughs> Dude, it's fine. I, Everyone I has their like own it. little thing. Everyone has their own yeah. obsession. Mine just happens I've, to be One Piece. <laughs> I've, I've got a couple of those. <laughs> Yo, that's the struggle with autism. You just focus all your attention was, on one thing. Yeah, I was about to say, in my neck of the woods, we call those special interests. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, where are they? Oh, oh yeah, god, here I it is. Where <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I found it, I found it. Wow, you make me sound better than I am, I say, crossing my arms looking at him. He turns around to face me and looks nervous. His face red, hot. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, please don't be another one. I watch every single one of your fights. I'm really a huge fan, he said, rubbing the back of his neck nervously. I was wondering if, if you can sign my shirt. was not expecting this of all things. <laughs> He's a fan. He's a fanboy. Yeah, just, just give him the signature. Okay. I see Blake just put her hand to her face and grabbed the bridge of her nose. She let out a sigh and looked down at the ground, a bit frustrated. Yeah, sure, why not? I say, grabbing a marker. He bent over a bit so I could sign. There, done. He sits up and has the look of a child who just got a toy he wanted for years. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about him, Yang. It's fine, you don't need to apologize. Sun runs out, leaving me and Blake alone. So, what do you want to do? She asks, giving that small smile. How long are you on break? I ask, or I'm still crossed. About, she looks at her phone. Yeah, about 30 more minutes, she says, standing up from her, the chair she was sitting in. What to do, what to do. Let's head over to my favorite coffee shop. It's a cute little place, and I know the owners, I say, I'm crossing my arms. Sure, as long as they have tea, she says, with a smile that could make me melt. Cool, let's go, I say, grabbing her hand and leading her out. I didn't feel myself dragging her, and she didn't pull away. Weird. I let go of her hand and we walk. <laughs> yep, yep. I let go of her hand and we walked and talked the two minutes it took to get there. We stopped outside of a small coffee shop called Chocolate Bunny. I never expected you to like a place like this. The name seems too cute. Blake says, looking at the sign. Yeah, but trust me on this. It's a great place. She gives a small laugh and we walk in. A small shit. <laughs> A small Australian voice greeted us. Hello, welcome to the Yang? Hey, Belle, <laughs> how are you? It's been ages. Velvet said her rabbit ears perked up. Made a new friend, I said, gesturing towards Blake. She gave a small, shy wave to Vel, and Velvet waved back. Nice to meet you. I'm Velvet. I own this place with my wife. Why, is everyone gay in this family? <laughs> 
Uh, I hope so. This is this is nice to refresher instead of getting like a bunch of straight shit for a while, you know. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> most of the Ruby fandom just really likes lesbian. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there are a lot of them. I mean, to be fair, the the four leads are all women. <laughs> yup. And then uh, these two characters, uh, Velvet and Coco. Uh, they're pretty popular in the fandom. Um, there's, there's, there's a lot. <laughs> you are just the scholar. I, yeah. I feel like you get along with, the uh, with Peter. Probably. <laughs> yeah. We would probably have many long conversations. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like, know how well, much into the lore he is, but I think he right. would enjoy it. Probably. I'll be like, oh, what's your favorite stem one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you have any Ruby OC? <laughs> I don't think that, but it'd be oh, funny. God. I I also don't have any Ruby OCs. Yeah, me either. It may be hard to believe, but I don't. I have a lot of Danganronpa OCs, and then the oh, personal nice. OCs, but mm-hmm. nothing, nothing too I... crazy. Yeah, I don't have a lot of OCs that are, like, in existing universes. I have a couple. Like, I have uh, a Sonic OC. <laughs> I have two Star Wars OCs. Um, that's all I can think of immediately. But, oh, I have a lot of... I have a lot of MLP OCs. Oh my god. I Do you have, have drawings of, of any of them? Uh, yeah, but they suck ass. <laughs> but I can... Uh, there is one that I have that I can send to you. Oh, right. Um, it was less... It's less of an OC and more of, like, a Sona. Okay, hold on. I have a pony Sona. Oh, I have... M- I have multiple. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, here's my best pony art I've ever done in my life. Um, so there's that. Let me see, uh, let me see. So that's my magnum opus. <laughs> Helping uh, others heal emotionally, so she's a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, it's based on an existing uh, character um, named Starlight Glimmer. I just changed a couple things. Uh, so, uh, yeah, bars. D- this, um, this do be looking pretty good. <laughs> thank you. It's, uh, it's my finest work. <laughs> <laughs> and do be looking fresh. <laughs> Thank you. I, I have another uh, Sona. I don't have any good art of him, but his name is Honeycomb. Okay, that sounds so cool. <laughs> yeah, he's a beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me finish this paragraph because we might. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, back to Ruby. <laughs> You've activated my autism signals. <laughs> place with my wife. Blake looked surprised and then smiled. I'm Blake. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. Oh, man. We ordered our drinks and sat down. This is really nice. I don't know if this place existed. Seems like a nice reading spot, Blake says, looking around. She smiles and seems a bit relaxed. Sun... Oh, I I thought I meant, like, sun was, like, coming in. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Sunlight came through the window we sat next to. Highlighting Blake a bit, adding a pair of, add a pair of wings, and I'd say she's more of an angel. That's so cute. <laughs> Man. Blake looked out the window, and I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Shit, was I staring? Well, I, well, I brought you, you love birds, your order. I felt my face heat up and looked over to the familiar voice. Coco, will you? Oh. Coco, it's been too long. I. S- I say, standing up and hug her. Blake was looking over at her, her face red. Lol. I don't remember what Coco or Velvet looks like, to be honest. Oh, well, don't you worry, <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> okay. You triggered so, my autism. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Okay, so, so, okay, this, this is Coco. Okay. Um. Oh, shit, that's Coco? Yeah, that's Coco. Okay. And then this, this is Velvet. Um. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is Velvet. Okay, you know what? Chip it. <laughs> no, yeah, they're super cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's your turn now. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Alright, okay. do you know where it is? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yang, nice to see you again. It's been so long. It's been too long, Coco said, as we separate. Oh, and who's this with you? She asked. This is my friend Blake. She's cool. Coco nods and leaves. I sit down and take a sip of my coffee. Who is that? Blake asked, taking a sip of her tea. That's the other o other owner, Coco. Oh, so she's Velvet's wife? She asked, raising an eyebrow. Yep. You know, Coco threw a guy out the window for flirting with Vel, and then she beat the living shit out of a guy for the way her for the way he was treating Vel. Sounds protective. Yeah, but I don't blame her. If I had a partner and someone flirted with them, they wouldn't forget my face or my fist, I say in a half-joking manner. She looked down a bit, and she looked like she was thinking. Hey, you okay? I ask. She jumped, she jumped a little. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking. Well, that's blunt. What are you thinking about? I ask, taking another sip of coffee. She took a breath and sipped her tea. Just wondering, wouldn't your partner be more concerned with someone flirting with you? I mean, yeah, but I'd just get picked pissed off if someone flirted with her, I say, shrugging a bit. Blake was taken aback. Was it something I said? What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't know you're gay. Shit. She pays attention. <laughs> oh, I'm gay. Sorry for not telling you sooner, I say. Please don't be homophobic. <laughs> Let's <laughs> Oh my god. She giggled, raising a hand to her mouth. It's fine, it's fine, she says, lowering her hand. What's so funny, I ask, with a playful tone. I never tell people because I don't know how they'll react. React to what? I ask, crossing my arms. I'm bisexual, but you know, homophobic people are everywhere. Meh, I've met a few, but most of my friends are cool with the LGBT community. My best friend is gay. Thank gods for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dang, was a small sigh of relief, trying to be quiet. Blake heard, of course... Blake heard, of course she would. Something wrong with that? She asks, a look on her face I couldn't describe. No, I just met a lot of homophobic people. One of my matches was a girl who was homophobic. I think back to her, her smug face as we were about to fight. I felt something grab my hand, losing my train of thought. I look and see Blake's hand on mine, and I looked at her. You okay? You look like you want to, <laughs> you want to tape, you want the table to burn. She said, she's so caring and sweet and, yeah, you better not burn another table. <laughs> we heard a voice yell from the back. Coco, who was looking at us, a playful glare shot at me. Blake looked at me. What does she mean again? Shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, um, you, you see, how, how do I put this? She basically becomes a human torch, Velvet said, placing down a cinnamon roll on the table. How is that even possible, Blake yelled. I don't know, but that's just how I got my nickname. I said, a, a shy smile on my face. Can you control it? She asked. Suggest, guess we're about to talk about this. Yeah, but if I get angry, I get it gets out of control. Can I see? She asked, raising an eyebrow. Maybe later. I don't want Coco to get mad at me. She laughed and drank the rest of her tea. We talked for a bit longer until Blake's phone went off. She looked at it, pressed a button, and sighed. My break's almost over. I should head back. How much does this cost? She asked. Coco walked out. Nothing. A friend of Yang's is a friend of ours. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, she said. I put some cash on the table and walked out behind her. We walked back to the daycare and went to the back. Well, that was fun. We should do it again sometime, she said, smiling. Yeah. Have anything going on over the weekend? No, I'm free. Cool, we can do something then, I say. I was honestly excited. Sh Sun walks in and sees us talking. Blake, no fair, you get to go on two dates with her? I freeze from the shock and feel my face heat up. I see Blake's eyes go wide and her face go red. 
He quickly turned to the boy and yelled, it, it wasn't a date! I like his temper. Blake, let me handle this, please, I say, a sly grin on my face. She got the same grin and let me. I turned to him and take a step forward. Keep quiet about the dates and I'll give you my old pair of boxing gloves. <laughs> he excitedly nodded and left. Wait, that was a date? Blake asked. I mean, if you want it to be. But I mostly said that just to get him to leave. She nods. Thanks for not hurting him. I just thought you were going to scare him. Not that. I'm not that mean. Jeez. She laughed and we walked out. I left and checked the time. 8.15. I sighed and walked back to my apartment. I couldn't... I could help Nora and Ren unpack or do more training. I got up to my room. It's Thursday, so it'll be boring. I'll be boring until this week. I, I got up to my apartment and turned on the TV, flipping through the channels. I turned on my PlayStation and grabbed a random game. I just play a game for a little bit. As I'm playing, my phone starts going off. Pausing the game, I look at the caller ID. It's Ruby. She doesn't call that often, so it must be important. I pick up, and the conversation goes as follows. Hey, Rubes, what's up? Yang, do you remember how you owe me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Well, Wince and I are going on a date, and our babysitter just canceled. You need me to babysit, don't you? Please, Yang, you owe me. Fine, when is it? Saturday. Saturday, I have a date Saturday. I'm panicking at this point. A date, you say? Not a date date. It's a date. <laughs> And are you sure yeah, you want me to babysit? I'm not the best with kids. <laughs> You'll be fine. But, and if you're busy, I understand. Actually, I might be able to. She's good with kids, I think. I mumbled. What was that? Nothing. I'll be there Saturday. Well, don't worry. Yes, thank you so much. No problem. Love you. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye. What? She hangs up. Will Blake be going to hang... Help me with white? I mean, she she should be good with kids, even if she even if she even helps me. Oh, that's if she even helps me. I fucking can't read for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm not good with kids. I can somewhat entertain them, but I don't know what they actually what they always need. I I pry. Please let Blake be willing to help me. Uh, little lazy time skip. <laughs> you said I that it was like panicky. <laughs> You're like, oh, 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 shit. Uh, time skip. <laughs> God. I heard a knock at my door. I get up and go see who it is. Hey, Yang, can I borrow something? Blake stood in my doorway, a sheep of smile on her face. Yeah, sure, what do you need? Just some super glue. I thought I had some. Sure, one sec. I walk to the kitchen and open a drawer of random stuff. I grab the glue and head back to the door. Here you go. She let out a sigh of relief. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. No problem. She was about to walk away when I remembered the conversation between Ruby and I. Blake, wait. I need to talk to you. Sure, what's it about? She said, turning around. It's about this weekend. Her smile fell. God, why did you make her with this expression? It's killing me. So, I have to babysit for my sister and- No, no, it's fine. Maybe another time. No, that's not it. I was wondering if you could help. I'm not the best with kids. She looked at me, her amber eyes looking into my soul, and she had a smile again. Sure, how old are they? Oh, she's one and a half. Is that okay? I ask, as she puts a hand on her chest as if she's offended. Of course, I love kids, and I literally work at a daycare. Oh my god, you have no idea how thankful I am. You're saving my ass right now. Fine, anyway, I'm tired right now. Yeah, I understand. Good night, Blake. Good night, Yang. With that, we went to our apartments, and I crashed. Yippee! Uh, Dude, the LGBT is winning. <laughs> the, the, the gays. The gays will be winning on this book. Yes. Let's go. I love it when, when gays win. Alright, I think we have time for one more. Oh shit. Babysitting. And I love this little picture. Look at it. It is really cute. Oh, it's it's this young given biker jacket. Yeah. Oh, they're like little them. cute babies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a ship name Bumblebee? Yeah. Okay, because like I'm seeing that a lot on the side, and then when I looked yeah, up the ship, it's Bumblebee. Okay. 
No, I know like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, because it says there's black and yellow. Oh, that okay, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, babysitting. Big time skip. Blake's point of view. Let's go. I wake up still a bit tired, but oh well. I sit up and stretch. Saturdays, you have to love them. I swing my legs on the other side of my bed. I get up and walk to the living room. I sigh. What am I going to do this weekend? I walk to the bathroom and start brushing my teeth. I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I start the water in the shower and wait for it to heat up. I am dressing in the shower, and as I wash my hair, it dawned on me. I'm babysitting with Yang! I quickly finish <laughs> up and put on some clothes and check the time. 8.30. I might have some time left. I thought that, like, okay. When I thought the, uh, we're going, like, Ruby and Wins were gonna go on a date and everything, I thought it would be, like, like, dinner. <laughs> Not the whole day. <laughs> Yeah, that's odd. Yeah. Who the fuck goes on a date at 8.30 in the morning, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> that's too early for date. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I I take care of my hair and head over to Yang's to see what's going on with the entire babysitting thing. I knock on her door and wait. I hear something moving from inside and meet with, I met with a Yang who just woke up. She scratched her back and opened the door leaving her tank top, making her tank top come up, revealing an ab or two. I blushed Damn. a bit and shaked off the feeling. Hey, Blake, what's up? Her voice sounded a bit raspy. Hey, I was just wondering, what time should we head over to your sister's to babysit? I see it in the panic in her face. Shit, slipped my mind. What time is it? It's 8.32, why? She ran to her bathroom brush, and a bit later, she was still putting on a shirt. She had a bra on, luckily. Otherwise, I'd die from blood loss. Jesus. Lesbians. I, I love lesbians. Me too. They're the best. They are. I, I still don't know who the fuck babysits at 8, 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. I, it's a bit odd. Unless, unless they're going for brunch, but brunch is at like 10 at the, at the earliest for brunch. Yeah. Maybe I'm taking like a beach day. That oh, that, okay, that's that's true. Which sounds really fucking nice. <laughs> that does sound nice. I don't want a damn beach day. If you wake up early enough, you can just like drive down to the beach and that's just be there for true. the whole day. I'm an adult and I can just go places. All right, let's do that one day. Me, you, beach. Okay, yeah. Beach. You see me burn up like a fucking croissant. <laughs> nah, beach. me too, man. We're in this together. <laughs> It's like that fucking meme. It was like, I love the beach. Hey, Jeff. I feel like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beach episode. Yes. It's <laughs> our own beach episode. <laughs> it's our own filler in our life. <laughs> yes. We need that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. She grabbed her keys and two helmets. What does she need them for? She closed and locked their door. I grabbed my hand and ran downstairs. She handed me a helmet and ran to a motorcycle. She packed the seat behind her and I got on. Hold on. I put my arms around her waist and we went so fast, the white lines looked like one solid line. We never stopped, and about 20 minutes later we got to a big house. I'm still holding on for dear life when Yang pats my head. That's when I realized I didn't have my bow. Shit, how could I forget? I cover my ears and start walking. Yang grabs my hands and pulls them down. Like, they look fine, and if you need, I'll get a ribbon somehow. I just, I don't know how they'll react to me. She sighed and kept my hands down. They'll be fine with you, Blake. You shouldn't hide who you are to make them happy, but I will warn you, Weiss may be a bit cold, not because of who you are, that's just how she is. We hear a woman's voice from behind us. Hey, I'm not that mean. <laughs> the woman was holding a small child. Her hair was white and the outside being a red border. The woman had pure white hair, a white long-sleeved sweater, a light blue skinny jeans. Yang turned towards her, still keeping my hands down with one of hers. Hey, Ice Queen. Ruby called and asked me to babysit. Yeah, I know. Who's that with you? This is my friend Blake. She's helping me today. The woman hummed as she looked at me. She walked towards us. Why are you holding your hands down? She asked, looking at Lake with a curious expression. Oh, looking at Yang, sorry. <laughs> 
So she can't so she can't cover her ears. The woman looked at me. Them then my cat ears which flattened against my head. Oh, okay. She seems uncomfortable and quiet. She's just shy. I my hand my hand started to hurt a bit. Um, Yang, will you let me will you let go of my hands? You're hurting them. Please. I said. She turns and looks at me and quickly lets go. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize I I just didn't it's fine, calm down, I say, smiling at her. Oh, Blake, this is Weiss. Weiss Blake. She waves and looks back at Yang. Ruby should be out in a second. Great. Should I take White? Wins handed the small child over to Yang carefully. Yang looked like she was somehow knew what she was doing. You know where everything is? Weiss asks. Yep, food's in the pantry, divers upstairs in the playroom next in the playroom next to the living room. The child pulled Yang's hair, causing Yang to almost drop her. I grabbed the kid and hold her so Yang didn't drop her. The kid looked at me and then at my ears. Please don't. She reached up and pet them. At least she didn't try to pull on them like most. A bunch of rose petals came flying out of the door and ran straight into Yang. Yang stumbles back about two steps. Then I see another woman squeeze the life out of Yang. Hey Rubes, I brought my friend to help. That okay? Yang asked the girl, still latched on the to Yang, nodding her head. Oh, Blake, this is my younger sister, Ruby. Ruby, this is Blake. The girl got off a of Yang and walked over to me and held out her hand. Ruby Rose, nice to meet you, she said excitedly. She had black hair with the red tips and silver eyes and had on a red long sleeve sweatshirt and dark blue skinny jeans. Blake Belladon. That's her last name? Belladon? Yeah. Belladonna, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I did not remember that. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> How long have you and Weiss going to be gone? Yang asked. A few hours, maybe more. Is that okay? Yang sighed. Yeah, just a bit tired still. Thanks, Yang. You're the best. Also, babysitting isn't the first best first date, the girl said, before running into the car and starting to drive off. Yang then yelled, Ha! Joke's on you! This isn't our first date! She stares- she starts to head inside, and I follow. Did she just say we had a date already? Does she think of this as a date? Whatever, just roll with it. Okay, what do we do first? I ask. Yang grabbed a note off the fridge. We're playing a fr we're playing first, but then a bit later we give her lunch, then a nap. Seems normal enough. Cool, where's the playroom? She pointed to a smaller room next to the living room. I bring her in there and start playing with her. Yang can in soon after and also played with her. It was cute to see this boxer playing with a small child. What did you say her name was? I ask. I don't want to keep calling her child. Oh, this is White. She's cute, right? I nod and smile. I've been smiling a lot around Yang. She just has something about her. As time passes by, we play with her. Yang checks her phone. Uh, shit. I lost my place. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Yang checked her phone and looked at the time. It's about time for lunch. What do you say, kiddo? kiddo? White nodded her head excitedly and stood up. You want me or Blake to pick you up? Blake! Oh my god, she is so cute. <laughs> I picked her up and we walked to the kitchen, then set her down in her high chair. Yang gave her some Cheerios and a bottle of milk. Damn, I want Cheerios. <laughs> I, yeah, I had Cheerios this morning. It was pretty good. I had Lucky Charms. Nice. You <laughs> know what? Side note. I, I'm a little mad at Lucky Charms for taking away the hourglasses still. <laughs> and replacing them with the unicorns. <laughs> it's it's the little things. Yeah. But I think that might be the autism too. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Yang sat down and was helping White eat. And I made my s made us sandwiches. We ate our food and White ate hers very happily. Turns out the kid was a fast learner, and that was not her first word. She's, she sat, she can stand, but not walk very well. She ate and talked like what we wanted in the future. It, wait. <laughs> we ate and talked about what we wanted in the future. If we wanted kids, if we wanted to get married someday, all that fun stuff. I thought you wanted to get married to someone once, but 
He's just a liar and a cheater. Not only that, but he was a terrible boyfriend. He made me feel like it was my fault for wanting to hang out with my friends. I would always criticize them. He would just bring down my confidence, so I couldn't end it. It was hard, but when I did end it, he was mad, and I got to move out of fear. Oh, I had to move out of fear. I looked over at Yang. Her eyes, instead of lilac, were red. What the hell? You okay, Yang? Oh, wait. Okay, so Blake told that story. I'm guessing mm-hmm. she's talking about Adam? Is that his name? Yeah, Okay. Is, yeah. Adam Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> Your knowledge. Is... My knowledge. You, it's like like my brain trying to do math, and it's like my brain thinking about Ruby. It's like massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh, you okay, Yang? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just want to beat him up now. Sounds like he deserved it. So why are your eyes red? That happens when I get angry. I nodded. I never met someone like that. It's actually really cool. White started to yawn a bit, so Yang took her upstairs for a nap. A bit later, she came back down, and we sat on the couch and continued to talk. Anyway, why would, why would you move like out of his house or away from him? I moved. I moved out of that place. We didn't live together. He was always violent, and he would. Oh God, he would slap me, and he almost stabbed me once. Jeez. And and you didn't move sooner? <laughs> I shake my head. He was a terrible person, and I had no idea why I quote-unquote loved him. He was... It was threat after threat after threat when I ended things. I almost... I already had my stuff packed. He tried to chase me out his door, but I slammed it, and he ran into it. You knocked him out? I think so. But that's why I moved out of fear of my life. I forget how bad Adam is. Oh yeah, he's horrible. I might need especially, to rewatch the show. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially since Blake was quite young when this happened. Oh god. Yeah. Poor Blake. Really Justice sad. for Blake. Mm-hmm. Well, he's dead, right? Uh, yeah, he okay, is. That's good. Yeah. But in this fan fiction, I think he's alive. Unfortunately. Probably. Yeah. Oh man. That bitch sucks balls. <laughs> um, she put an arm around me. I could feel how hot she was. I fell into the hug, and it, I felt safe and comfortable. I felt like someone cared about me. I look up at her, and she was still angry, but oh well. She was warm, and she seemed to be calming down. You okay? She asked. You're staring. Something on your mind? Shit, I was staring. Yeah, just looking at your eyes. They're not red anymore. Hmm. Oh, just calm down a bit. She smiled. I wish she would smile more. It looks good on her. You okay now? I nod my head. She pulls her arm away. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get something to drink. Want anything? No, I'm good. I take a step and trip on one of White's toys. I catch myself on the couch and look Mm -hmm. at what I just tripped on. I look back in front of me only to see Yang's face not far from mine. My face turns red and Yang just smirks. You okay? She asks, still smirking. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just funny seeing you fall. Sorry. Why aren't I moving out of this position? God damn it, body. You gonna get your drink, or... Shit, what the hell am I doing? This is not happening. Nope, I refuse to believe it. I was not (laughs) here right now. I had my eyes closed, so I can't see her face. I didn't feel her pull away or push me back. We separated for air. Shit, I did not just do that. I'm so sorry. I just... I wasn't thinking it. Like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. How the hell is she so calm? But I just... We just- I stand up. Wait. I'm so sorry. Wait, did they kiss? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. They didn't write it very clearly. Okay, because but... they just- Blake was like, I am not doing that. And then it's like, yeah, oh my- Yeah, I guess it happens. <laughs> Blake, it's fine. Really, don't worry about it. How are you so calm about this? Don't know. Look, it's fine, okay? You don't need to worry. I sigh and walk into the kitchen. Just a water bottle should be fine. I walk back to the couch and sit. I'm sorry about that, I say. I can't look at her right now. Like, do you just want to forget it happened? Yes and no. Um, care to explain? I mean, yeah, I want to forget it and we can move on with our lives, but it's still something that happened and I can't just forget it. Alright, hold on. Before I read this paragraph, I'm going to shut the door. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm so bad I went downstairs. 
my dad got me Wendy's. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I got the- <laughs> It's like a five dollar thing with the soda. Oh Hell my yeah. God. Dude, yeah. I would go to Wendy's more often, but they keep fucking up my orders every time. Oh, yeah. The last time I went, I was, it was, um, I don't remember where it was. It was nowhere close to where I live. We were just mm -hmm. out with my dad and everything, and we stopped right. at a Wendy's, and I asked for a burger with no sauces, mm -hmm. lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese. They right. gave me the burger. It's all sauces, no tomato, no lettuce. Oh... And just cheese. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm like, this is not what I fucking asked for, so I stopped going. God. Yeah, I can't blame you. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Why am I feeling so confused? Okay, I can understand that, so we just don't want to talk about it? Yeah, but I do have one question. Okay, go ahead. Why didn't you push me away or pull back? Because I didn't want to. What the hell? I don't understand her. So you wanted to kiss? I asked, raising an eyebrow. I see her face go red, and the regret fills her face. Well, no, I'm not saying I didn't want it to happen or that I wish it didn't happen. I just thought it was nice, I guess. She was flustered and frantic. So you did want it to happen? No. Then why didn't you pull away? Because it was nice. This is confusing the shit <laughs> God. What do you mean by that? I, I just mean you're a good kisser. Uh, <laughs> she said, looking away. You know what? Let's just stop talking about this and move on with our lives. Deal? Deal. <laughs> we had to act like the kiss never happened and we continued our conversation. We talked for a bit until Yang said, Yeah, I wanted to have kids, but I, don't, but I won't make a good a best mom. I'm too clumsy, and not only that, I probably won't even get married. <laughs> Why's that? I mean, you're nice, caring, protective, and you seem loyal. Just, I just thought, just, when I thought I was bi, I dated a few guys. Or most just wanted my money and found, and I found them cheating. Didn't matter much. I wasn't really attracted to them in the first place. What was the last straw? Well, I dated this one guy. Wasn't bad looking, but never really felt attracted to him. I thought if I dated a guy long enough, I would like him, but nope. I found him going through my underwear drawer and then <laughs> and the end of things. Yeah. I realized I was gay and went on with my life. That's why she was like, no. <laughs> mm hmm Makes sense. Mm -hmm. It all adds up. The, the, the plot from beginning is coming around. <laughs> yep. It all comes around. Full circle. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Well, if it helps at all, I think you'd be a great mom. And you didn't deserve what happened to you. It's not your fault. I thought I liked guys. Most of them are just dicks. Yeah, I know how that feels. Also, what did you mean by I seem loyal? I'd never cheat. If I feel the need to see someone else while I'm in a relationship, I'd break up with them. Didn't mean to offend. I didn't see her eyes change, so she must not be angry. It, it was a joke, not the second part that I meant. I don't want to lead someone on and just leave them out of the blue. If I'm not happy in the relationship, I try to talk to them and figure things out, unless we, unless I feel we can't be fixed. She seems to know how to have a healthy relationship with someone. She may have had some bad relationships in the past. What's the worst relationship you've ever had? That's easy. I dated this one girl. She got so angry I had girlfriends and guy friends basically told me I can't talk to any girls, only her. What happened? Well, I talked to her about it, and she refused to let me have female friends, so I broke up with her. I'm not letting someone dictate my life. I thought back to Adam, the way he treated me. I wish I was as strong as Yang and had enough confidence sooner. I wish I did that with Adam. Adam? Oh, that's the ex I was talking about, the one I had to move away from. She took a deep breath and closed her eyes. When she opened them, they were red again. It's fine. I left him, I say, a bit of fear in my voice. Yang looked shocked, then asked me something. Blake, do I... do I scare you? I shake my head. It wasn't her. I feel safe with her. Please, don't lie. I'm not scared of you. Just what you would do if you got too angry. She nodded, and her eyes turned lilac again. I'm sorry. I try to keep my temper under control. It's just hard sometimes. 
It's fine. I just don't want your sister's house to burn down. She looked at me for a second. How dare you, she said with a playful tone. It was nice to just talk and laugh with her. Nothing could ruin it. A bit later, I go over to the camera thing we set up to check on White. We didn't hear anything on the baby monitor, so I just wanted to make sure. Yep, she was fine. Just a heavy sleeper or something. I turned back to the couch, but I met with Yang, looking over my shoulder. How did you not hear her? Something wrong? I asked. She was blocking the way. I could just go around. Oh, I was just seeing if White's okay. Oh, she's fine, just sleeping. We just kind of looked at each other. It was kind of, it was weird, but at the same time, I didn't want to look away for her lilac eyes. Why do I feel so weird around her? Is something wrong? She asked. No, I'm fine. Do I need to get out of your way? No, nope, it's fine. You feeling strange? No, I'm fine. Why am I... Why am I even ask? What am I even saying? She says something else, but I didn't listen. My eyes go from hers to her lips. Nope, nope, nope. I have to get over that. That was one time I couldn't. That could not happen again, or not. Gods, what is wrong with me? I didn't meet her that long ago, and she only sees me as her friend. I like her that I, when I first saw her, but this isn't a book. There's no such thing as love at first sight. Fuck it. I couldn't take this shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's me at work. Fuck this God, shit. I'm yeah. doing it. True. I'm just going to do it. She's taller than me, so I have to look up to see her. But, oh well. Blake, are you even- I don't understand my own feelings right now, but oh well. I was going to shoot my shot and see what happens. She seemed a bit shocked, but didn't pull away. She wrapped her arms around my waist and pulled me closer. Heard a noise from the front door, but ignored it. <laughs> I heard- We heard a high-pitched squeal coming from a new person. We jumped- but Yang just pulled me closer. Not what I expected. <laughs> Yang's point of view real quick. <laughs> I was talking to Blake and out of nowhere she just kissed me. I'm not, not going to act like I didn't like it. So I pulled her closer. I think I heard something from the front door. Probably my imagination. At least that's what I thought until I heard the high pitched squeal. I safely pulled... Play closer, but I already knew who it was. Ruby. Hey, sis. Not what it looks like. God. Alright. We did three chapters. <laughs> Let's go. This was good. I like this. No, yeah, this is good. Yeah. I, I, I do feel like the, like the, the speaking roles need to be mm -hmm. more clear at some points. Yes. A little bit separated from the paragraph. Yeah. But, um, other than that, this is fucking good. Yeah. I feel like this is good LGBT2 representation as well. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm loving this. Mm-hmm. So, if you would like to read this book, I'll have it linked down below in the description. Um, I can't wait to see where else this book goes. Yeah. But now it is time for everyone's favorite uh, segment yes. on this on this shit show. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> the Wheel of Regret. Hopefully we get something good. Uh, like I said before, no repeats. So, unfortunately, we're not going to read this one right away unless... That we do the next, I don't know, but yeah, but let's spin and find out. Let's hide the options real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Yes, oh. <laughs> finally, <laughs> oh, close to Sonic X Mario. Oh, we'll get it one day, buddy. One day. I know it's been two months since I read this book, but we're gonna it's come back been to a it. Hot minute. Yeah, it's been a real hot minute. We might need to do a recap at the beginning. <laughs> oh my like, god! It's like recapping what the hell happens in the last chapters before we even read. Yeah. 
mm, god i cannot wait for this book and i can't wait for uh the the one that we just read to be read again because that was amazing mm -hmm. yeah that was really good mm-hmm so I guess next time we get to read Totally Dramatical. Um, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Hope you are too. Uh, yes. Yep. We're, we're gonna read it. <laughs> you didn't. You don't like it. <laughs> uh, it's I. Just, I don't have a lot of personal stake into Duncan as a character. Gotcha. Uh, okay. As we, as long as you don't hate it, it should be fine. Oh yeah. But uh, my name is Phoenix. This is Coda. Hey. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.